Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is the start of weekly vlog number 19. I can't believe we're nearly at 20, which is crazy. Is that like five months? It's actually Tuesday. I haven't recorded um, before now because I haven't really been having the best time the last couple of days. I've got a lot of things that I have to do at the minute and a lot of things on my mind and just some not great things that are going on at the minute. I don't really want to talk about them, but it's nothing for you guys to worry about. Like, I'm sure in time it'll sort itself out. But one of the things I will talk about was that like, in amongst it all yesterday, um, I had a blood test and it was probably one of the worst blood tests I've had for a while. So I was only went to go in and have one vial of blood, but um, I haven't been feeling very good. So when she went to take my blood, the veins collapsed and she couldn't get any blood. So in the end, she ended up trying to do four different blood tests and it really hurt because none of the veins would give up any blood and yeah i'm all bruised today and so and it just added to my really bad mood yesterday and i just didn't feel like recording i've had worse scars like i know i'm just being an absolute baby but um yeah that you can see where the other one was and then that one's all bruised and then the other two on the arms are just kind of like little pricks with like little bruises and they're not that bad and then today wasn't great this morning but the last couple of hours i have spent it with matthew so i feel a lot better now so i thought i'd pick up the camera because i hate not recording and i love like doing youtube so of course i want to do it so i've just put a titchy bit of makeup on although i look horrific my skin's a mess i just don't feel good but you know um we're not doing much today and um, we're actually just going to dip to asda it's actually about six or seven o'clock it's quite late so we're just going to dip to asda now get something nice for tea Food always cheers me up. And then I think we're just going to come back, watch a movie, play our game. I'll take the camera, but yeah, I don't know if I'll record much today. I just really didn't want to not record. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys when I can. Hey, soon. We weren't gone that long, were we? <gasps> naughty, naughty, naughty. Uh, you missed us? When you went to Asda? So it's probably really loud in here, but um, I'm making dinner. So we're making enchiladas. Uh, we've been at Asda, there wasn't much there. Um, normally I like to have a look at like, the Disney stuff. There was two sets of pyjamas and that was kind of it. It wasn't even like much good stuff in the toy section. Um, my Asda is quite a small local one though, so it doesn't really get much better than that anyway. It's quite late though, it's like five to 10. So we really shouldn't be eating this late, but never mind. So we're just making enchiladas and then we'll probably just play an old game for a little bit. So not very really interesting, but I'm in a little bit of a better mood now. Um, we'll see how tomorrow goes because I've got a lot of stuff to deal with tomorrow. Uh, so yeah. So we've got peppers, onions, butter beans. Uh, oh, what else? Sweet corn. We've got dairy-free cheese. And then we've got some sauce and fajita mix to put on. So these are going to be really tasty. Oh my God. These look so tasty and I'm very hungry. Hey guys, it's now really, really late. It's like, I don't even know what time it is. It's quarter past uh, 11. Um, I suppose that's not that late, but for me it is. So I'm absolutely knackered. Uh, I'm just gonna go to bed now, like can't keep my eyes open, look horrific. So I'm gonna go to bed and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I'm not doing too much tomorrow. I'm gonna be editing um, my Disney haul, so that will definitely be up by the time you guys watch this. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Good night. Hey guys, it's now Wednesday. I have to apologise, it's later on in the day again. I'm pretty sure I said yesterday that I'm going to be getting on with things today. Um, just the same sort of things yesterday. I have to apologise for yesterday if I seemed really off or in a bad mood. Um, I was... I can see the rabbit in the garden, that is hilarious. <laughs> But I am feeling a little bit better today because I've gotten some more things sorted out. I still have quite a lot to do though. My monthly Disney haul was edited today and is up. It went up about an hour ago. Also, I have no idea what my hair is doing. It looks hilarious. But yeah, my Disney haul went up about an hour ago. Um, it's been really well received, which was really nice. Um, the way I've been feeling the last couple of days. So I think I'm going to start making it a thing once a week where I go through to Newcastle. Because I enjoy it. I know you guys enjoy it. And I want to see what... Disney stock is out there so I think I'm going to choose a day to do that once a week so hopefully I'll be able to stick to that as well and then it's something for you guys to look forward to every week as well we can like go shopping together so hopefully the rest of the week will be good and I'm going to get into bed well I'm going to have a bath and get into bed and then I'll catch up with you guys probably tomorrow good night good morning everybody it's now Thursday so me and Matthew are going to go out today and have a nice day out I'm in a much better mood today and I have to apologize for the last two days um yeah I've just been in a bit of a bad mood had things to sort out but i spent all night sorting things out 
and I'm pretty much sorted with a lot of things now so I feel a lot better about it. So me and Matthew are going to go out for the day. I'm not sure where we're going to go. Either some sort of Roman castle wall thing or we're going to go to some gardens which will be nice. I'm not really sure but we're going to go out. And then tomorrow I think I'll take myself off to the shops in Newcastle and then go and visit my sister. So I'm going to get a move on because it's already like one o'clock so it's getting on a little bit so we need to hurry up. So let's go out for the day. Me and Matthew have come out for the day and we've come to Binchester Roman Fort. And I just had to use a portaloo, which I haven't done since I was like, when was the last time we went to download? I don't know. When I was like 21 Hiya. or something. Hi. Hey, yeah. Two seconds. So as I was saying, from the Winchester Roman Fort, that woman was very informative though, wasn't she? Very nice. She gave us a lot of information, so I recommend coming here. Um, what is it like a bathhouse and like a Roman fort? Yeah, it's a fort and it's the road that goes, the Roman road that goes from York all the way through Winchester, all the way up to the south of Scotland. So we've come here and it seems really interesting so far actually. So the lady was just telling us that there's Durham University students here excavating stuff. And I always wanted to do that when I was younger, but my mum told me not to do it at uni because everything had already been discovered. I think we can join in. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to have a look around and I'll show you what I can. We're in the bathhouse now and the warm room quite big it's all green down there the water must have been down there so I've never been here before but Matthew's been here before when he was younger the cold room I don't think I'd use this room <laughs> I hid some things in the sand for Matthew to excavate and he's found one already <laughs> yeah I'm in front of Matthew Matthew's hid me some Roman things to find, so I'm gonna find them. <laughs> I'm using your method. It's not how you excavate it. It is. How far down did you do it? Was that it? No. <laughs> Oh, that was the one I had for you. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. Oh! Have we got something? We've got something. Sure. Show me what we've got. Mm. I'm just gonna have to pull it out. It makes me feel like I'm on Jurassic Park. Got it. Well done. We're back in the car now. It was interesting. Did you enjoy it? Yes, it was good. I don't feel like you appreciated what you were looking at though. I did appreciate this. It's just walking around and I get bored easily. You do get bored easily. I was saying before, I haven't been in a portal since the second time I went down. So we, we've come to Roman Fort, like a however many years old ancient structure. Yeah. The best in the in in the country. Apparently. And you're more interested about the portal. I was just see. saying, I haven't been in a portal since we went to download when we were like 21. I haven't been in a Roman fort since like ages. When was the last time you were in a Roman fort? That's our point. Oh. But anyway, it was good. It was only two pound, but uh, I don't know if I'd go again. <laughs> Not in a hurry anyway. It'd be good on the event days. Yeah, if there's an event on, they have events on. And we might go again like on a nice day, but it was alright for two pounds. Should we go home? <laughs> I'm starving. Yes. We're gonna go home now and get some food. Is it spicy? Look at the little peas. I can't believe I had like 27 of these at one point. Is. So cute. That is so cute. Where's the rabbits? Look at this little white and grey one. It looks like the one we got that the rabbit, like that Mr. Bun didn't like and we had to take back. Doesn't it? Jelly bean? It looks yeah, like jelly bean. Oh, yeah, it does look, yeah. Jelly bean did have floppy ears, didn't she? Yeah. Oh, look at them too. We just got back from the shops. Um, after the Binchester Roman Fort, we did nip into Starbucks because I was starving and I really wanted to try the new wraps, but honestly, like, they weren't very good. I think I had the kale and jalapeno one. It was just spicy and not nice, and yeah. 
So that was a bit of a waste of money. I wish they would bring out some good plant-based food. I'm sick of like all these restaurants having nothing tasty for me to have. But never mind. And then we nipped into Poundland because I think I mentioned it last week that we want some things for the garden. Like we're trying to do the garden nice for the summer. So we got a few things in Poundland. There was no new Disney things. I took the camera in, but there was nothing, nothing new. Uh, so we've just come home and then the sun has magically decided to disappear on the way home. So it's not even very nice. We were going to sit in the garden and put our things out, but it's really windy and it's horrible. So we're going to put our things out, but I doubt we'll sit out there. So I've had some cool packages come as well. So Matthew's going out later, so I'll probably sit down and show you those later. But I'm going to go out in the garden and try and like sort some things out that we've bought. <laughs> I spoke to you me and Matthew were just going into the garden to put the things out in the garden that we just bought and then it started to rain so I had to quickly bring the camera in I came upstairs because my part came for the last part of my computer so that my computer should work and then it still didn't work so I went back outside and it stopped raining so me and Matthew quickly finished up what we wanted to do outside so you'll have seen that I was putting like some Kind of trellis stuff along the border we've planted like a load of seeds along that border we've put another hanging basket up i've put a scarecrow out there um but i didn't realize that it stopped raining so i didn't take my camera so i'll have to show you that another day because it is quite dark now and it's raining because it's quite a few hours later because matthew came upstairs to see if he could get my computer to work and he fixed it and what he did as well could have been done days ago so that's kind of annoying because i could have been playing on my computer all this time but never mind my computer is finally done it's finished it works i can use it it's amazing i can't believe it it's so fast and smooth and i'm just so happy with it i love it so much so oh my god thank you so much jamie and beth for doing that for me um i just can't believe it's finally ready so i just started playing on my new editing system and i've been on it for about four hours now so it is quite a bit later um it's such a good system but it's going to take a lot of time to get used to it um it's quite complicated to what i've been using i used to use movie maker it's really basic but this upgrade does mean that i can already do a load of cool things on my videos so i'm looking forward to it but it's going to take a bit of time and i'm worried about editing my first few videos on it because i don't have an intro yet or an outro and i don't know how to do an intro and outro simply uh, like what I used to do in the meantime so we'll have to see how it goes but I've been on it for four hours now I could do have been on it a lot longer but I'm absolutely knackered so I'm gonna be going to bed soon actually Matthew's just gone swimming and um, so he'll be back soon I just thought I'd quickly show you something that came yesterday I think and um, if anyone's seen the Clinton's Beauty and the Beast range it's amazing it's gorgeous I have a few pieces from it and um, I ordered the rose, the snow globe, that they finally brought out. They said that they were bringing it out ages ago and it was the main thing that I wanted from the collection. And they finally brought it out, so obviously I ordered it straight away. So let me show you it because it is beautiful. So it comes in this box and it's actually a lot bigger than I thought. So like that's my hand there. So yeah, it's bigger than I thought. So this was £18 I want to say. Oh, it says 15 yeah 15 pound and then obviously i had to pay for delivery just because i don't go into town as much at the minute and i didn't want to lug it around town as well i thought it might be quite heavy so i've took it out and i'll show you so this is it it is absolutely beautiful it is gorgeous i mean how nice is that oh my god it's just it's just beautiful isn't it so it says beauty and the beast on that side and then it says the one who will break the spell on that side and then obviously it has the rose in there and the glitter glittery so it's like red and gold glitter uh oh it's just so pretty isn't it the camera doesn't want to focus on it though because it keeps going there we go how beautiful is that I love it so much so I wasn't sure where to put it so I kind of just put it here on my desk for now but I think I'm actually going to leave it on my desk. I'm quite liking my little desk set up at the minute. Um, I still need to play with my new uh, voiceover mic. Still haven't had a chance to play with that. So yeah. But uh, yeah, I just love it so much. I definitely recommend it. It was £15. Um, 
And as far as I know, it's kept selling up pretty quickly a few days ago, but they might have restocked, I'm not sure. But if you can get your hands on it, it's just gorgeous. I actually used to collect snow globes. I've lost a lot of them. So I'm trying to like build up my snow globe collection again because I just love snow globes. They're just so magical. Oh, I can actually tell you now because Matthew's not in the house, right? Next Tuesday is Matthew's birthday. So on Saturday, I am planning a surprise party for him. I don't know why I'm whispering. I think it's because the window's open and I'm worried that he might actually be stood out there, but he's not home yet. But I'm planning a surprise party for Matthew for his birthday. So he has no idea. He's going to be at work till about five o'clock. He'll be home about five o'clock. Um, and he works with one of our friends, Jamie, who built the computer. So Jamie is going to pick him up on the morning and then bring him back on the evening and let me know when they are coming home. And then hopefully everybody who is invited should be here and hopefully Matthew won't find out anything about it and we'll surprise him. There's not a lot of people coming because it's a little bit short notice. Like my sister's just had a baby so she can't really come. She doesn't really want to have like a newborn premature baby at a party. She also doesn't want to leave him which I can't blame her. My little sister's down the country. So there's a couple of people that can't come so it's not going to be the biggest party but I think it's just nice that he doesn't know anything about it and the people who are there it's going to be a nice party so we're just going to it's basically just going to be like a barbecue um, but it's a surprise one. So that's what's happening on Saturday so I'll be getting ready for that on Saturday and then on Sunday Matthew's not at work and he's arranged for everyone to go to um like a high ropes course um, and do that which should be interesting. I'm not scared of heights but I've done it before and it's fun, it's just physical activity is not really something I enjoy like majorly but I'm sure it'll be a laugh with everybody there. So that's what we're doing on Sunday and then next week it's his birthday. So I've had a really nice day and we've got a good couple of days planned uh, so it should be good compared to the beginning of the week. Um, I did get a package today actually from a company of some outfits that I need to blog. Um, they like gifted me them, I chose them, not paid, nothing like that. Uh, I might go and open the package now actually, even though I'm knackered, and just see what the items are. I don't think I've got the energy to try them on. But we'll go downstairs and see what I have been sent. I mean, I know what I've been sent, but I want to see the pieces. So we'll go downstairs and open that up, and then I'll probably be going to bed because I'm knackered. Like so unbelievably knackered like you know when you've been out in the fresh air and it just hits you so we'll go and open this package and then we'll probably call it a day so i'll come into the sitting room um if it's a bit messy whatever like the rabbit stuff just ignore it bless him he's back home he was not happy when he got back from grandma and granddad's the other day if you followed um along like with my vlog last week the rabbit had to go to his grandma's and granddad's because we uh, had the dogs over me nana's dogs and he was not a happy bunny because he'd just been there a couple of days earlier when we went to London. So he wasn't happy, bless him. He came in and he took a good hour or two to settle back into the house, which when we went to London, we brought him back straight away. He was like, I'm home. But uh, when we brought him back from his grandma and granddad's the other day, he was in a proper little grump. It took, like he didn't kiss us for a good hour, bless him. So he doesn't like leaving the house. He likes his home, like his mom. He's over there, so he might wander over in a bit, but I'm gonna get this package open. So basically, um, a company called Everything Five Pounds contacted me and they were like, do you wanna um, review some of our products for us? I'm not getting paid. I obviously got sent the items though. Um, I picked them though. So yeah, I, thought, I was like, yeah, like, let's, let's give them a try. I mean, they are five pound. Like everything on their website is five pound an item or cheaper. Sale things are like 199. So I've never ordered from them before, so I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll review some items for you. So I picked out four items, and let's have a look at them, because I'm excited to see what the quality's like. I mean, they're a fiver. Okay, so I ordered three dresses and one pair of shoes. So I ordered, like, a prom dress type thing, um, or, like, an occasion dress. Uh, if it's your style, you could wear it as a cocktail, like, drinking dress. Um, yeah, so let's see what it's like. I really want to try them on, but I really can't be bothered because I'm so tired. But I will be like trying them on properly when I do uh, the blog post. Okay, so I sized up in this because it's a bustier um, and it's actually boned as well. I thought it would be better if I wore like a push up bra to keep it up because I have small bosoms, so my push up bra can be quite big. So I ordered a size 10, I, I sized up and it's actually quite stretchy. I think I could have got away with an eight, um, but never mind. We'll see how it fits when I put the ten on. There is actually straps, like detachable straps, which I didn't know, or I would have ordered an eight. So we'll have to see how it fits. 
it might be it might be all right actually so that's the dress it's got like a big flower thing here which is pretty cool and it's very like glittery and embellished it's it's very roughly so yeah and it zips down the back but if you do want to see what it looks like on then i'm going to be doing these in um blog posts in the coming weeks and i'll let you know when i mean if you just follow along in the weekly vlogs you'll see us doing the blog posts like out and about wearing them while matthew takes my photos bless him so this one um didn't come in like 8 10 12 it came in small to medium which is an 8 to 10 so this is an 8 to 10 Ooh, that's pretty okay this looks really pretty but it also looks really short so i don't know if you can see that uh, it does have a white underskirt. It's really nice, actually. Really nice. It doesn't have a zip or anything. It's just elasticated. You know, if this fits nice, I might actually wear this for Disneyland. It's really nice. Ooh. I'll show you this up close. Can you see that kind of material on there? So that's the kind of material. So it's pink with white underneath. And it was only a fiver, so... Let's see, if I put that there on my shoulders, it's quite short, that's my leg there, it's quite short, I am, I'm not really tall, I'm 5'8", so this is a maxi dress, um, ew, it's really nice, so it's got like a bit of an overlay kind of pattern there, and then it's got like two splits up either side, or is it just a split up one side? Oh, so it's got a split up one side and then it's got like a shorter dress. So the dress actually only comes to there and then the overlay is longer, if that makes sense. So it's like a really nice coral pink and then it's like strapped and then it does have a thing at the back to tie it, like tighter, and a zip. That's really nice for a fiver. So that's the pattern on it. That is very nice for a fiver. Hey! Can you see him yet? <laughs> hey! Say hi! Say hi! Ah, you giving mommy kisses! You're oh, sure not, aren't you? Ah, he's coming to... He's coming to chew the box. I ain't stupid. I know what you're doing. You want to chew mommy's box. Ah. One more item. Okay, so the last item is a pair of shoes. I haven't even tried them on and how they feel and what they look like and the si like the size and like the, 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 how they look size wise very very good quality for five pound not just seeing that very impressed can't wait to try them on you know when you kind of know if something's gonna look nice on and be good quality i get a very good feeling from all of them so i also got a pair of shoes i got a pair of sandals hello what are you doing you kissing me? Ah, I'm getting all the loving. I'm getting all the loving. You're gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Just let me show them the shoes and then we'll have a cuddle, eh? Yeah. So I ordered a pair of blue, um, like, embezzled sandals, which strap up the leg. Are you going to chew the box? They're really nice. So I went for blue. So I'll come and show you like a couple. These are really nice. These are very nice. I could wear these for Disneyland. So that is the uh, embellishment on the shoe there. Crosses over the foot, round the back of the ankle, and then up the leg, like strapped around the leg. They were a fiver. They're a really, really nice color. They're really nice. So I don't know how well you can see that, but how nice is that? But initial impressions is that everything5pounds.com is actually really quite good. <laughs> so I'm very, very impressed with them. And no, they are not paying me to say that. They sent me these items free, yes, but I chose them and I'm under no obligation to say that they're good. They haven't paid me. Um, so yeah, I'm very impressed so far. So when the rabbit gets too hot, he lies on the wood floor. He's so cute. Let me show you. We still need to sort out this side of the sitting room, like since we've downsized our sofa. But how cute is he? 
This is his little corner at the minute. He's made a bit of a mess today. Ah, he's got his balloon there. Are you cute? So hey guys, it's actually the next day. Um, my camera died last night, I think when I was showing you the rabbit. And then I was like, okay, I'll charge the battery and get another one. And then I'll say goodnight. And yeah, I think because I was so tired, I went upstairs and I thought I'd ended it. I don't really know. I was just really tired, but I didn't do anything. Like, I literally sat on the chair for two minutes. Matthew came home and then I went to bed. So, I'm now in Newcastle. I've just got here. It is Friday. Matthew hasn't come with me because he's got things to do today. And he doesn't really like the whole being in Primark for a long time, which I can't blame him. And I do want to be in Primark for a long time. So, I can't make him come. And it just means I can be in Primark for longer. So, I've announced on my Instagram this morning that I am going to start doing pickups again. If you've been watching me for a while, you'll know that I used to do pickups in Primark and Disney store before um, my exams and then my exams came around and I was too busy to do any pickups. I also got messed around a lot. I picked up five items one day and not one of them paid for it and um, so obviously I didn't send them it and it came out of my money which was really annoying. So this time I do have rules with regards to doing pickups and I also have a little bit of a fee just to help cover for my petrol and stuff like that. Oh, this is really hurting my arm. So if you do want any Primark pickups or Disney related pickups, then drop me a message on Instagram. Make sure you are following me first on Instagram or I don't get a notification that you've messaged me and then drop me a message. So I've got quite a lot of pickups to do today already. And there's a couple of things I want in Primark. I'll hopefully be able to get everything for everyone. It's around, it's 20 past 12 and I have a doctor's appointment in an hour, no, three hours and 20 minutes. So I have just under three hours and then I'm gonna have to leave, which is fine. It gives me an hour and Primark and I want to have some lunch and then I'll quickly miss over at Disney store if I have the energy to walk that far and then I'll just come back to the car I don't really do much else in town it's too much walking for me so I've got enough time to have a good mission Primark and at least get some lunch nobody's actually requested anything from Disney store and apparently there's nothing new in Disney store so I don't know if I'll go to Disney store but I am gonna have a good mission Primark so I need to try and do all these pickups and I need to try and vlog for you guys because we are hunting for the Primark chip uh, handbag and the Primark chip new flat purse and um, there's a couple of cups that people have asked me to get and the other purse that people want and um, the one that started it all the chip gate purse I already have that one so I'm not after it for myself so there's a few things I'm wanting I don't think the Beauty and the Beast uh, bed quilt or throw or Mrs Potts or Cogsworth or any of them are out in Primark yet if you don't know what I'm talking about check out Instagram Primark are bringing out some crazy Beauty and the Beast things soon I know that they aren't out today because somebody's already been in a store and they're not in store yet so hopefully there'll be the chip handbag and purse so i'm gonna go in now let's go and see if we can find this chip handbag <laughs> changed Whew, I'm out of breath. basically I was supposed to be going to Primark which I've done there wasn't very much in there wasn't very much new stuff I was a bit disappointed um, I wasn't in very long it was really busy I don't think I'm gonna be doing Primark on a Friday I think I'm probably gonna do it on like a Wednesday or a Monday I managed to do a few pickups and I got a few things myself there was no chip purses no bags no cups nothing then my sister texts me and she was like, I'm in a and &E and I'm starving. Can you please bring me some food? And I was literally just around the corner. So I've got some food. And instead of going for a nice calf sit down lunch thing, I'm going to have to go and meet my sister now. So I've got me some food and her some food and I'm going to take it into the hospital. And then I'll stay with her for about an hour and then I'm going to have to go to the doctors. Oh, I'm so out of breath. Where's this a and &E? Oh, it's further than I thought. This was a bad idea. So yeah. I didn't really want to go to Disney store too much anyway, so I am just going to go to A&E with some food for me and my sister. Hopefully my nephew's okay. I really want to support her during this. And then yeah, I'm just going to go back to the car and go to the doctors. So a bit of a fail, but never mind. Honestly, people just don't want me to shop in Primark. 
On my way back to the car now, I am so tired from all that walking. Right, I'm gonna get in the car and then I'll catch up with you. Oh my god, I just started talking to you, realised I hadn't pressed record and the camera shut off after about two minutes of talking. So let me start that again. So, I don't know how much you could hear me before uh, when I was walking to the hospital, but basically... This is kind of what happened last week when I tried to take myself shopping into town. Things just keep happening so that I'm not supposed to have a nice shopping trip. So basically, uh, last week things kept happening so that I came away in a bad mood. And today I'm not in a bad mood, but it's testing me. So five minutes, not even that, from leaving the house, I hit a bird two seconds down the road someone nearly crashed into me i was like i've got a bad feeling about this somebody doesn't want me to go shopping again so i got here my sister texted me and she was like i'm in a and &E and i haven't had food since five o'clock in the morning my nephew's fine she's just a bit worried about something and rightly so but it's nothing major that needs to like it's fine don't worry about it um I mean, she did have to take him to a &E, but it's not like, oh my goodness, sort of stuff. So bless him. He's fine. Um, so yeah, I was like, oh, I just want to go shopping. And I've told people I'll pick them up things. So I went into Primark. It was so busy, so messy, so hot, untidy, nothing much new on the Disney front. None of the Belle stuff, which I expected. None of like the Mrs. Potts or anything. Um, I only managed to get two pickups out of like however many people asked me to get but that's because loads of people asked me to get them the cups and there was no cups, there was no purses, there was no handbags, there wasn't very much. Um, I only got two things for myself and I'm really annoyed because I really wanted to make this week's uh, weekly vlog like a little bit more interesting for you like shopping wise and just like a bit more Disney stuff to show you so that was a little bit annoying. Um, that there wasn't much in and then i was gonna have a nice sit down in costa and then or like cafe nero i tend to go because there's more food for me and then like have a nice wander up to disney store and maybe clinton's and stuff like that and then yeah because my sister text i quickly went into primark because i've said i'll get things for people and i was literally at the door when she texted me and then i went and got me and her food and then i walked up to the hospital and then i've been sat with her for an hour um, he's all right. We're, we're sat and had the food that I took us and then she's dropped me back off at the car park Thank God so I didn't have to walk back because I'm dying from walking up here It was too much walking, but I did it for my nephew and my sister So let's just think of it like that. Like I'm dying right now. I'm so tired and I stink because I'm so hot Whew. Anyway, so yeah, um, I'm gonna go to the doctors now. So I apologize if today's been boring I thought we'd have a nice big like shop um, and honestly, like, I don't mind going to help my nephew and my sister. Of course I don't. Um, it's just one of those things. To be honest, though, in a way, it's a kind of a good thing because I got to help my sister out and the shops are so busy. Like, the other week when I was like, oh, I'm going to come shopping once a week on a Friday. I'm not going to come on a Friday. It's too busy. It wasn't very nice. I don't think I would have enjoyed it anyway, even if I'd gone. Like, it's hot today. I think I'm going to try doing Mondays or possibly Wednesdays. I know are quiet. And I'm going to come through earlier as well when it's quieter in the morning. Plus, I'll have more chance of picking stuff up for people. So, yeah, we might try doing that next Monday or Wednesday. We'll see. But I'm going to go now because I'm going to be late for the doctors. So guys, I'm now back home and it's quite a bit later. So I am very aware that my makeup is melting off my face and my lipstick. I've eaten, so there's just like a ring around where the lipstick's left and it's all like smudged and ugh, anyway. So after I spoke to you guys, right, as soon as I got like one level down the car park, my pair of light came on. I was like, great, I'm gonna be late for the doctors because then I realized there was traffic. So I hate that traffic in Newcastle and it just had like not long started. It builds really quickly though and I hate it. I used to hate like sitting in it after uni. So I had to sit in that traffic, which meant I was gonna be late for the doctors and my pair of light was on. So honestly, like it's like somebody doesn't want me to go shopping like Every time I've took myself to Primark the last couple of weeks, it's just been like this. So I finally got to the doctor's and then it turns out that my doctor's appointment was actually on the morning. So it was this morning, um, which is annoying because it's like if I'd known that, I would have got up early, gone to the doctor's appointment and then spent earlier time in Newcastle and then there might have been more stock in and I could have got away earlier before the traffic or I could have done all the shopping I wanted to do and then seen my sister, like, I don't know, but... It was annoying because I checked a text on my phone from the doctors and it definitely said this afternoon. Um, but anyway, so the doctor said he would see me, but I had to wait to be squeezed in. So I waited an hour. I rushed there like mad with the petrol light on and then just to wait for an hour because I'd missed the appointment. So I still got seen, but I waited an hour. 
then I went around my sister's and I was only around there maybe two hours I don't even know how long to be honest but I was knackered and she was knackered we were supposed to make shoes uh, like for our business and both of us were just too tired but I got to hold my nephew um for like a good probably hour going on it was really he's just a little cutie he's got the cutest little cheeks ever so that was really nice and then I just came home and I can't keep my eyes open I'm so tired I had to get petrol on the way home as well which I hate doing you know when you just want to come home or you just want to go somewhere and you have to get petrol like this is going to sound really stupid but one of my pet peeves is getting petrol I hate it like it's just really annoying having to stop and get petrol. I don't know why, I just don't enjoy it. I thought I'd quickly show you what I got in Primark since there wasn't a lot of footage for me to like record today because I only went into Primark and there wasn't much in Primark. So you know the £5.90s? I always get them in a large because I just like them massive. I got one of these. I seen the print and I was like, oh my god, it's so cute. I have a top with this like pony like all over it in sequence from Primark. I got like maybe last year um and i love these 90s there was quite a few really nice disney ones there was like a, a like neon green one with like daisy duck on and things but i thought no i need to be good so they also had this in a vest and short set and with a pink background in the 10 pound pajamas so like a top and trousers and if it had been winter 100 percent would have got the top and trousers in the pink because they were gorgeous but for the summer a 90 is just a little bit cooler for me because obviously like your legs are out and it's just been really hot the last few days so I got this 90 and then literally the only other thing I got was this t-shirt um so it's just like stripey and then it's like ties up here like it's kind of cropped I think um and then it's got like flounder all over like a couple of flounders all over the front there um yeah so that was only six pound which is not bad really so that was literally all I got I'm gonna go to bed now and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow hey guys it's now saturday i got lipstick in my teeth nope okay so i'm running around like an absolute lunatic because today is the day of matthew's surprise barbecue he still has absolutely no idea it's hilarious there's not loads of people coming but it's still gonna be really fun like it's still just gonna be nice even for a few people to shout surprise so it's not his birthday till tuesday but i want to do it today just because he's at work so it means he comes in from work and then we're all here. So it's like the hottest day of the year and I'm running around like a lunatic. I've been tidying all morning because you have probably realised by now I'm quite particular. I like to keep my house tidy and especially when people are coming over. So I've been tidying like a loony all morning because I've been putting it off the last few days because I didn't want Matthew to catch on like if I kept it immaculate before the barbecue. I mean sometimes I do immaculately tidy but I just didn't want to give anything away in case he was like oh we got people coming over. That was weird. Have we got people coming over like as a joke or anything? And then maybe be like, haha, no, of course not. Like I do tidy, like you know I do. But um, yeah, I just wanted to leave it till this morning just so you had absolutely no idea. Oh my God, my hair is just not playing ball because it needs dyed and I'm probably gonna have to dye it before Disneyland and oh, anyway. Yeah, so I'm running around like a loom because it took me longer to tidy than I thought because I'm really aching off walking up to the hospital yesterday. So it's now after two o'clock. It's like coming up three, I think. So I really need to hurry because Matthew finishes about quarter past four. So he'll be home at five. So I need to go down the road, which is going to take half an hour, pick up my two cousins who can't drive, bring them back, which is going to be another half an hour. So that's an hour I'm losing. Um, obviously, I want to pick them up and bring them though because it's more people at the party and they normally come. Um, and then I still need to go to Asda and get food. I still need to blow up the balloons. I still need to put up banners. I still need to do loads. And I think I will literally get here and he'll be coming in like 20 minutes. So so, and people are coming here for four o'clock who can drive and get here and I might not be back till just after four so I need to hurry up and I'm sorry I didn't show you anything this morning but it's the hottest day of the year so I was pretty much cleaning not naked but in something that wasn't really suitable because I was just sweating and I needed to just clean and tidy and hurry up like Hoover so I had like a really long t-shirt on but it was like a very short dress questionable as a dress so in the house it's okay especially if you're tidying because it keeps you cool but I didn't want it on camera it was like off shoulder as well and no it's not it's not the look I want on camera so I am wearing this top from Primark which I got um a couple not last not when I went yesterday uh, a few weeks before that it was only four pound and then I'm just wearing my long skirt that I wear quite a lot because I love it I wish they'd bring it out with more colors they do have it in pink but it's not a pink that I like it's quite um muted and I kind of like 
brighter pastel colours. I'm still tempted to get it to be fair because I love this skirt. Anyway, I really need to go because I'm 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 worried that I'm not gonna be back in time or that we're not gonna get the I don't know, I need to hurry up. So I'll try and show you as much as I can. But I am running around like a lunatic. So I'll probably try and film when I get back and I'm setting up a bit more and then I'll try and film his reaction when he comes in, but I don't want to make it really obvious, so I might hide the camera. Still don't know how we're gonna surprise him because our sitting room door is glass, so when he comes in the front door, he'll be able to see everyone. So I'm not sure how we're gonna do that yet, but I really need to go because I'm hurrying. And I'm aware that this vlog's been really like, I don't know, short and boring this week, so I'm sorry. And I know I'm not supposed to say, I know I'm not supposed to say, wow. I know I'm not supposed to say sorry, but I am sorry. Anyway, I'm rambling, I really need to hurry up. I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I'm so like shiny as well. It's been like the hottest day of the year. It's been lush. So it's actually like, oh, I'm so out of breath. It's so hot in this room. Whew, it's like a sauna. The sun's like round the back of the house all day and shines in the pipe, like the balcony doors. It's just sweating in this room. It's so hot today. It's been it's, it's the perfect day for a barbecue. It really has been. But yeah, I'm sorry that I didn't record very much today. I was running around like a lunatic trying to sort everything out before Matthew came home so that everything was ready so that we surprised him. So as you'll have seen that there was a lot of waiting around because we weren't sure when he'd left work because his friend who was bringing him, like our friend, wasn't um, texting because he'd ran out of data. So we had an idea of when he was meant to be coming home but uh, we were waiting in the kitchen for a lot longer than we thought but we completely surprised him. Hopefully you'll have seen that on camera. Um, and then yeah, we just kind of got the barbecue going and I was trying to think like I thought I would record loads But at the end of the day, we were just sat Around chilling and talking and catching up and it was really nice. It was like a nice day. We were just chilling So I think I did a bit of a time-lapse. My brother came over stole the camera ruined the time-lapse bless him and then he stole the camera for a bit So yeah, I've just been up the road to take my cousins back and I'm I'm so tired, I'm dying. Like, Matthew came with me because I was like, I'm so tired, I don't want to drive home on my own in the car just in case because I'm that tired. So, it's literally just the end of the day now. It was a really good barbecue. We surprised Matthew, which was the goal, and it was fun. So, I'm going to go to bed now. But I'll speak to you tomorrow because it's going to be a good day tomorrow. So, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Hey guys, it's now Sunday. I am in a massive rush. As per usual, um, I'm supposed to have gone to my dad's and Matthew's dad's already by now, but I just don't feel very good. I'm just really tired off yesterday. Like, I was tired off the day before because I walked up to the hospital, I went shopping, like, Primark kills me, and then yesterday should have been a rest day, and I literally ran around all day getting that barbecue ready and picking people up, and yeah, then I had to drop my cousins back off, and oh, it was like one o'clock in the morning. And I was just dying. So I am actually quite tired today. Like I lost my voice this morning. 
that's normally a warning sign that my ME is kicking, like really kicking in. So I should really just be resting, but we have got this thing organized today, um, the high ropes course for Matthew's birthday, and we're all going. It's like the same people as yesterday. Um, I think maybe one more person's coming. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be really fun. It's just, I'm so tired. And I just, I'm a bit worried because we're trying to be Disney. I tried to do that earlier, but I'll explain that later because I'm in a hurry. Um, so I'm, it's not that we're not going to Disney. It's just I'm worried that um, I'm going to make myself ill before we go. So pulling myself around on a high ropes course is not exactly what I should be doing today. But it's going to be a laugh and I'm looking forward to it. Like, it's good crack. Like, it's good people. So I'm going to get going because Matthew's already gone to his dad's because I knew I wouldn't be ready in time. I needed to chill for as long as possible. But now I'm running late. And then I'm going to go around, pick up my cousins again, and then we're going to go to the high ropes course. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. <laughs> so in front of you, you got a harness with an orange and black foot loop. You want to step forward, so you got a foot in each of those loops, and then pick up the outermost black fabric strap up over your shoulders. Have a massive push off when you jump off, okay? Don't have like a huge push off because you'll kick me in the face. <laughs> and then grab. <laughs> I'm in a tree and I'm freaking out. I did this like four years ago. Oh, don't look down. And I'm not enjoying this. I'm so tired. I just don't have the body to do this anymore. I'm dying. It's so hot. I'm so tired. But there's Matthew. He's literally pulled me around the course all the way around, bless him. But I'm gonna have to turn the camera off now because, oh my God, oh my God. Because that's why and I'm freaking out. I'll see you guys when I get down. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. Yeah, that's it, well done. Yes! Yay, well done you! Yay! Oh, she's crying. Are you okay? You did that all by yourself as well. Well done, Sarah. Sarah! Sarah, are you okay?
Are you okay? I don't even know what to say. Oh God, that was probably the most pathetic moment of my life. I screamed like a girl. Probably the most, bleh, I can't even say it, the most ridiculous, pathetic scream of my life. And then when I got to the bottom, I cried. Literally hit the floor and started crying. I think like the whole way around, like I have me at the end of the day, I shouldn't have done it. Um, I wanted to join in with everyone. I wanted to make Matthew proud. Um, I'm obviously a lot less fit than I like to admit because it was just really hard all the way around. And being tired off the barbecue on the day before at the shops. Like, it's been the laugh of everyone, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not trying to be negative, but... And I'm, I'm proud of myself that I did it. But honestly, I would rather have sat on the floor and watched everyone and played with that cute little dog. Like... I'm not an active person. I would rather just stay in, drink a cup of tea. Uh, yeah, so I screamed like a girl and then, well, I am a girl. That's nothing to be ashamed of. I screamed like a pathetic person and then as soon as I hit the floor, I just burst out crying and now I'm really embarrassed. <laughs> it just really like overcame me, like all the emotion of the whole way going round. And you're probably thinking it's pathetic because it was just a stupid little tree course. Like they all work there and they were just going around the course like it was nothing. But no, like I'm too weak. I couldn't pull myself across most of the things. I couldn't, oh, it was just hard. Like it wasn't fun. Like I'm not fit enough to do something like that. I shouldn't have done it. But I'm glad that I did because I joined in with everyone. I'm proud of myself. Matthew's proud of me. Everybody's proud of me. How pathetic am I? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, like I've had a great day guys. We've just been sat outside for like an hour and there was the most beautiful dogs ever Like I was obsessed with them and it's a really nice day So we're just chilling having a cork and now I'm gonna go and see my dad for Father's Day But yeah, um I've had a lovely day I just feel really embarrassed right now and a little bit negative about like the whole thing I think everybody was just kind of like, you know when you see that one person going around a course like that And they're just being really pathetic and you're like, oh come on like just get with it That was literally just me like I didn't expect me to be like that. I've done something like that before and I loved it and I went round and it was fine but that was about five years ago and my Emmy's gotten worse and um, it was just really hard. It was nice to see everyone else having fun and parts of it I support. No, I'm not even gonna lie, I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> I'm just not that type of person. Um, if I didn't have Emmy, then maybe but I just struggled. It was fun, like, to see Matthew, um, bloody hell, I feel like I'm going out with Tarzan, like, woo, if I hadn't been so scared, hello, but, uh, yeah, like, like, I think the thing, the thing I enjoyed the most was Matthew going around it, because he can do things that is, like, how are you physically doing that, so I'm impressed, he's my boyfriend, whoop, but, um, yeah, apart from, and Beth, bless her, like, she was really scared, and I don't think she enjoyed it very much, like, me and Beth just want to go to Disneyland and drink a cup of tea, bless us, so, yeah, it was, it was a good laugh, but I'm, I'm not that type of girl, like, I won't be doing that again, um, yeah, <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go to my mum's now, if you do like that sort of thing, then I recommend you come here, because the staff are lovely, and they put up with my crap all day, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, it's Beamish Wild, so, Beamish Wild, check it out, and it's got a lovely, like, Beamish Hall, who I, I actually had my prom here, which, funny enough, like, a long time ago, which I forgot about till I came back here the other day, uh, so, yeah, check this place out, it's great, it's just not for me. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go up my mum's now, because I'm sweating in this car, so I'll see you guys in a bit. So, hi, guys, I am now back home, I'm so tired, it's unbelievable, I feel like I should apologise for earlier, if it seemed like I was really negative and didn't enjoy the day, I did, I really enjoyed the day. I think it was more the fact that I was a bit embarrassed by the fact that I cried when I jumped off the thing and I don't really do things like that in front of people. So it's on camera, it's in front, it was in front of my friends and it was a bit like, oh, I'm so pathetic. So I think I was just kind of a bit like, Ugh, about it at the time, but I'm all right now. <laughs> so I did have a good time, I really did. It was just kind of like, it's not really my thing. It's hard with my ME. And it wouldn't have even been a problem if I hadn't embarrassed myself at the end. So never mind. But anyway, I had a really good day. I'm starting to really lose my voice. Um, I lost it this morning because, like, yesterday was, like, a long day. And then the day before was, like, tiring, like, going shopping. And then hospital with my sister. And 
So my Emmy is just kind of at the point now where it's like, no, Sarah. So I am just going to chill tomorrow. I am hopefully booking Disneyland. Oh yeah, I said I would speak to you about that. Basically, I went to book Disneyland this morning before we went out. And, um, oh my throat. <laughs> and then it turns out because there's four of us going, they only have family rooms left, which fit four people in them. Um, and just with me having Emmy, it might be more comfortable if I have my own room with Matthew. It's really not a big deal. I'm quite happy to have a room with Jamie and Beth, like they are our friends. Um, but if four adults in a room might be a bit more cramped, I just thought it would be, I don't know. I just said to the woman when I rang, I was like, is it possible for us to like have two family rooms? Like, cause when me and Matthew went last time at Disneyland, there was only two of us and we were in a family room. There was four beds. Um, well, there was three beds, but one was a double bed. So that would have fit four adults in. So I thought they might just do the same. I said, can we have two family rooms for the two couples? And then she put me on hold and then she came back on and then she said, I'm going to ring the hotel up in the morning because they're closed today. Ask them if we can have two twin rooms. So I think they have twin rooms, but they only allocate so many to the company or something. So she's going to ring the company in the morning, see if she can get us two twin rooms instead of family rooms. Like it's going to be better for the hotel. And then they, and then she's going to ring me back and then I'm going to book Disneyland. So if she doesn't ring me tomorrow by a certain time, I'm going to be like dying to book it. So I'm probably just going to ring them. So hopefully Disneyland is definitely getting booked tomorrow. I was going to just say to her like, oh, well, you know what it is. I'll just book the one room. But then she took my name and stuff and she was like, no, no, well, I'll, I'll sort it out. I'll ring you back tomorrow. So at least she's trying to sort it out. Um, it might be better to have two rooms like if she can't though and we just have one room then I just want to go to Disneyland so anyway yeah so that's what happened with Disneyland this morning so yeah I guess that's the end of the weekly vlog now because it probably seems really bright in here I look so sweaty and just a horrible mess like I'm surprised my makeup's not down my face from crying and being pathetic I don't even know if it was on camera basically but when I got to the end of the fan basically it took me ages to jump of the drop thing it's called the fan and I just wouldn't jump and then eventually I did because I found out there was no other way down apart from being lowered down slowly which is exactly the same just slower so you may as well just jump so uh, yeah I reached the bottom and I just started crying I think it was a mix of emotion because it was a lot harder than I thought I was very tired and I, I, I think I was honestly a bit upset that it was harder than I thought with regards to my ME which just lets me know that my ME is it just stopped me doing things and it was more tiring and harder than I thought. And my ME's obviously gotten worse since the last time I've done something like that. The camera crowd out there for a second so I need to hurry up because the camera's full. But basically I think the emotion of realising how bad my ME's gotten and how tired it was making me just going around the course. And then when I finally jumped at the end and it was really scary, I just started crying. I don't even, I don't know. I still had fun, it was just... It was, I don't know, it's, I know I've got ME and I've accepted it and I know what I like to do and what I don't like to do. I just didn't expect to not enjoy it that much because it was so hard. I can't really explain it but, I don't, anyway, I don't want to make this like depressing and I feel like I've complained a lot this week. Honestly, I'm pathetic but yeah, I'm going to go now because it's the end of the week and I'm knackered. So I'm going to go downstairs and, actually I don't even know if I'm going to go downstairs, I think I'm going to get into bed. I'm going to have a cup of tea and get into bed and just chill. And you can probably tell that I'm like pretty much falling asleep. And I will see you bright and early tomorrow for the start of a new weekly vlog, which you guys will see next week. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Um, so I am going, hopefully, if I book it tomorrow, to Disneyland um, the mon like the following Monday. So this is going up tomorrow for so for you guys, like Monday the 19th. And then the 26th, if I get it booked, I'm going to Disneyland. So that weekly vlog... Um, like, it will still go up on time the week after for that week. Um, but it will be a lot shorter because four days I'm going to be in Disneyland and that will be separate Disneyland vlogs. So when you watch next week's, I'll be in Disneyland, if that makes sense. But by the time it goes up, I'm already there. So I'm just, like, forewarning you that next week's should be the right length, but then the week after I'm in Disneyland. And I don't know, it's all to do with being, like, a week behind. I'm just trying to pre-warn you. And if you want to see in the meantime if I actually manage to book Disneyland then check out my Instagram and all that jazz because I will clearly be announcing it on there because I'll be really chuffed if I have managed to book it. I'm going to go now and stop talking crap. So I hope you guys all had a lovely week. I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog. I do hope you did. And I will see you in my next weekly vlog. Bye guys.